at this time once again we are having viewers this is NE8 a broadcast news medium bringing you all the news events and happenings from the state of Nagaland I'm your host KV Nurumi in this edition we bring you all the latest and updated information on the status of COVID-19 or the coronavirus pandemic and how the state of Nagaland is dealing with this issue but first we take a look at the headlines no COVID-19 cases in state so far, says Nagaland government. All 22 samples test negative. Indian Air Force flies medical supplies to Nagaland. And there's chaos commotion as residents strong market in Dimapur. Now the details. We begin with some good news and even as the country has been witnessing rise in COVID-19 cases, much to the relief of the citizens, there has been no COVID-19 positive case in Nagaland so far as all the 22 samples recently sent to various government-assigned laboratories have tested negative. Informing this during a briefing in the state capital on Monday, Principal Secretary and Home Commissioner Abhijit Sina said that results of all the 22 samples sent for testing for COVID-19 by Health and Family Welfare Department have been received and whole, all had tested negative. Till now, uh, from our state, 22 samples have been sent for testing and the results for all have been received and all the results are negative. Sinha also informed that altogether 4,096 individuals, including students who had returned from outside the state since March 6, had self-reported to the respective district surveillance teams of these, he said 3,594 were presently under home quarantine and 502 have already completed their home quarantine period. As of 2 p.m. today, the 30th of March 2020, a total of 4,096 people, including students who have returned from outside the state from 6th of March 2020 onwards, have self-reported to the respective district surveillance teams. And, uh, out of which 3,594 are presently under home quarantine and the remaining 502 have already uh, completed their quarantine period. He also mentioned that 2,364 persons had self-registered in the NCOVID-19 Nagaland app with complete details. However, 1,099 of them had still not completed providing the full details. He urged those who had entered the state after March 6 to self-register in the app by providing full details. Moving on and much to the relief of the state government, critical medical supplies related to COVID-19 finally arrived at Dimapur Airport from Delhi on Monday in an Indian Air Force C-130J Super Hercules heavy lift aircraft. The eight-ton consignment which included ventilators, personal protective equipment, masks, gloves, hand sanitizers, etc. was airlifted from Delhi to meet the Health and Fam Family Welfare Department and National State Disaster Management Authority's NSDMA requirements. to deliver five tons of similar equipments for Manipur. The airlift support operation was possible because of close coordination among the state government, Dimapur-based IAF project office, IAF Eastern Air Command headquarters at Shiram, IAF headquarters in New Delhi, Union Ministry of Defence and Deputy Resident Commissioner Nagaland House at New Delhi. Following the delivery of the consignment, the state government extended its gratitude to IAF for carrying out the task as requested during the critical hour. The airlift task was undertaken by C-130J Super Hercules belonging to 77 Squadron Special Air Operations based at Hindon Air Base 
which is used as a tactical airlift aircraft and was inducted in IAF in 2011. It has capabilities for quick deployment of super forces and airdrop in semi and unprepared runways and can operate at pitch dark in all weather conditions. This was stated in a DIPR release. As the 21-day nationwide lockdown entered its fifth day, Dimapur town witnessed huge chaos and commotion on Monday with unusually high volume of traffic on the road and serpentine queues outside grocery stores as panicked residents thronged marketplaces to shore up stock of essential commodities at homes. This followed after the Dimapur district administration had allowed shops selling essential commodities to remain open from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. to cater to the needs of the residents. However, even after the order and assurance from the authorities that sufficient food stocks were available, residents rushed to markets to stock essential items, leading to long queues outside grocery stores and traffic jams on the roads, everyone breaching the code of social distancing. Although the police had blocked the road, jittery residents crowded the streets and prominent junctions like the Holy Cross Junction, Dominala and New Market areas were packed with frenzied crowds. Some of the stores were so crowded that entries had to be temporarily halted. Many frustrated traffic and police personnel on duty were seen struggling to maintain traffic congestion and people on the road. Passengers stranded at Dimapur railway station due to complete shutdown all over the country have been facing harassment and physical abuse by local miscreants since the day one of lockdown started. When any reporter spoke with some of the stranded passengers last Saturday, it was learned that the passengers were mistreated and sometimes physically abused by some local miscreants. They also claimed they were always the last to get food or water whenever NGOs or concerned citizens provided for them. A lady passenger on conditions of an anonymity from Guwahati disclosed that she was very much pleased by the humanitarian act carried out by certain denizens of Dimapur. However, she lamented that some miscreants stopped people from rendering help to stranded passengers and daily wages by harassing and mentally abusing them. Another passenger stated that the miscreants would just come and check their pockets for money, leaving them completely defenseless due to manpower. <laughs> Meanwhile, much to the relief of those homeless, Especially the migrant laborers, the district administration in Dimapur has begun the exercise to accommodate those sections of people at the DDSE stadium. 
the homeless and the migrant laborers are being fed and are being sheltered inside the stadium. So, हम लोग जो चीज से हम लोग अभी है ना सिचुएशन बहुत खराब है एक दूसरे के साथ साफ के साथ में लगने लगने से हम लोग को बीमारी पड़ रही है ठीक है ना ट्रीटमेंट का व्यवस्था यहाँ पे होगा आप लोग यहाँ पे रहने से ही ट्रीटमेंट मिलेगा आप लोग यहाँ पे खा के फिर निकल जाएगा तो नहीं होगा यहाँ पे मेडिकल टीम भी आएगा आप लोग का पूरा ध्यान रखा जाएगा आप लोग प्लीज मत जाना कहीं पे भी आप लोग का सुविधा पूरा देखा जाएगा We'll see you some other time with lots more. Meanwhile, here's another reminder from all of us. Stay home and stay safe during this lockdown period. From all of us here, it is bye for now and thanks for watching.